How are you doing, PrepperLink? Today we're going to discuss a lighting project that we came up with um, to help some of you guys that are looking for emergency lighting systems for your house or to install lights inside of your shelter, your bug out location. And before we get into that, let's first discuss light bulbs and give you a practical power consumption scenario. To your right, we have an incandescent light bulb. It's 60 watts. In the middle, we have compact fluorescent light bulbs. They're 14 watts apiece. And then on the left-hand side, we have LEDs, and they're 2.1 watts. All right, so five compact fluorescents would burn as much energy as one incandescent light bulb. So you have a five to one ratio. Now, when we're looking at the LEDs, about six LEDs would burn the same amount of power as one CFL, all right? So five to one or 30 to one or six to one, whatever you want to look at it. But the point here is that these LED light bulbs are a lot more efficient than both CFLs and incandescent light bulbs. Another thing that you have to consider is how you're going to power your, how you're going to generate power in a, in a grid down situation or a storm situation. Um, we can have generators or you can have an alternative energy system with a big battery bank or even a small battery bank. It doesn't really matter. The point here is that these LEDs can run off of any 12 volt battery or any car battery, whereas the CFLs and the incandescent light bulb has to run off of AC power or generator power. All right. So if you're in a survival situation or a grid down situation or a storm situation and you have a simple car battery, you can go take it out of your car and you know, set it up in your house, you can run this lighting system if you went with the LEDs. The other two would require an inverter if you had a car battery, but that inverter is also consuming energy, so it's better, in my opinion, to just start off developing a lighting system with your LEDs. All right, so back to the project. There's some products out there on the market that you can purchase for about 20 bucks to 40 bucks, or really the budget can go up from there. Um, but there's some products that are out there that you can actually use for emergency lighting. One of them happens to be these pancake lights. Uh, they're great if you want to mount them. They're made for the RV industry, but you can mount them on your wall or under your cabinets or, or whatever. The problem with these systems is, again, they're 20 bucks. Um, if you're on a budget, it adds up over time, especially if you need 10 to 20 of those lights around your house. Um, and they're made for permanent installation. I mean, they're, once you mount them, you're not really meant to be moved around. And, and that's fine. Um, but so you have alternatives out there um, that are ready to go. You don't have to do anything. But what we're going to build today is we have several different builds here and examples of how you can use this. But we're going to take a clamp light like this. Uh, costs about seven bucks or cheaper. You might have some laying around your house already. And we're going to modify the socket here so that to accept this um, LED light bulb. And to do that, what you have to do is figure out a way to, you know, a system that's going to work. So what we've done is we went to the hardware store and we knew that we wanted to use these 2.1 watt LEDs. We also know that they have MR11 connectors at the end, these little two prongs, very small two prongs. So first thing that we did was we went on Amazon and you can also find them on eBay, but purchase these MR11 to MR16 light sockets. They're pretty small. And once we had these, we went to the hardware store to figure out what these can fit into. And what we came up with was purchasing an end cap. And this is a threaded three quarter inch PVC end cap. And I've already drilled some holes in here for the wires and the screws, but this is about a dollar a piece. And this, again, this is three quarter inch. And we'll go over why we use that size in a second. Another option is a one inch PVC. These run about $2 a piece at my local Lowe's. All right, so you can use either one of these for this project. You use one or the other, you don't have to use both. Okay, so starting to construct this, uh, again, I've already pre-drilled the holes, so the power cables go through the two center holes and the outside two holes are made for, um, or drilled for the, the screws so you don't crack the PVC or crack the, um, the socket connector. So all I'm gonna do is thread these two power cables through the two center holes. Okay, 
So it looks like that. Press it down there firmly. Line up my screw holes here. And then I'm going to put in my screws, and this is the probably the most challenging part of this. Um, you have to have a fine tip um, Phillips screwdriver. The screws that we're using are four times half inch. The size four fits perfectly between the socket cutouts that they have here. And the half inch is the perfect um, size for the thickness of the socket and also the PVC so it's not punching out the back end. You can see that it's flush there and this is ready to go. So let's tighten it one more time. It's not really going to go anywhere. But basically we have a little, the starting point to go into the socket. But you can stop right here if you wanted to. Right now we have two dollars into this project. Again, the socket and the PVC fitting. So if you're on an extreme budget, all you would take is um, a coat hanger, just cut it down to size or any kind of wire. And we've drilled two other holes on the side. And basically what you can do is put that in there like that. Okay. Take your light bulb that you have. Push it in here. Before you push it in here, just squeeze these prongs together a little bit to make it tight when it goes into the socket. And basically right now you have a little pendant light. And you can stop right there. So this project with these light bulbs are kind of expensive. They're six bucks a piece. It's an eight dollar project. Also, there's other light bulbs out there um, using the MR connectors. These are little fiber optic or um, incandescent five watt bulbs. So they're not as good as those LEDs because it's 5 watts compared to 2.1. But they can also fit into this little socket here. And they cost about a dollar. So this is a $3 lighting project. It's really not going to go anywhere um, unless you have extreme vibrations, if you're in a vehicle or whatnot. But all you do is just press this in. You don't really need to have a retention system. So you can hang this from your ceiling, ceiling if you wanted to. Again, you would just run some extended power cord or lamp cord or whatever you had to your battery. But what we're going to do is take the same three quarter inch um, end cap that we've already had the socket mounted into and we are going to modify again a clamp light. So the clamp light out of the package would look like this. It has a six foot power cord on it. Um, and again it has a clamp and then the normal light bulb socket. We're just going to cut off the six foot power cord about three inches from the bottom. That way if you wanted to use the socket again you could. You could splice to it. And we're going to keep this power cord because we're going to use this for our power wire and splice it to the socket. To disassemble these clamp lights is pretty easy. Um, just you screw off the lampshade which is important because this lampshade is one inch and we'll get into the one inch end cap in a second. And then you can just slide off this little clamp and it kind of falls apart whenever it comes off. Again, we've already cut the power cord about three inches from the bottom. All right, so now we just unscrew this, take out the socket, and you can move it for a future project. But basically now we have a shell, and the shell screws into it itself, all right, like this, and it has a hole in the bottom where the power cable, power cord run out, all right. So we're gonna set this piece, the top piece down for now, and we're going to take our three-quarter inch end cap socket combination. First thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and tie a knot into this. And this is going to keep the cable from pulling out of the socket if you trip on the power cable or whatnot. And we're going to push this through here. Now you'll have to take a Dremel tool and sand this PVC cap down just a very tiny bit, not much. Um, you just basically got to take the, the um, the sides of it off probably less than a couple of millimeters if that um, and, and then it'll fit in here very snug you want to make sure that's snug though alright so as I'm pressing down in here you can see that's really not going anywhere it's not falling out um, so once this is in here again I took a Dremel tool to this 
I can now take this top part of this enclosure or shell and put it back on. Okay, and now I can put my light back together. So I'll take my shade, slide it on, take this little bracket that they have here that clamps onto this part of the shade, The clamp swivels, so it's just fit in here and it's pressure um, secured by this, this wing nut here. Alright, so now that's back on there. I would splice this power cord to the socket. All right, and that's all that you have to do there. And then just set in your light bulb, whichever one that you want to use. Again, crimp down the ends a little bit or press them down so that they fit in there snug and it's not going anywhere. So this is mostly a finished product, but we'll go over to this one that's already using the same power cord, which decreases the price of the project. And you have six foot power cord here. I put a two pole connector on the end to plug into my $150 solar can project and there you see the LED light bulb in there and it puts out a good amount of light again it's 160 lumens and with this reflector it concentrates the light downwards it's enough to light up a room at least to, so that you can see um, at, 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 during a power outage it's going to illuminate the room enough so you can make things out but it's also a very great reading lamp um, again it's bright pure pure light it's and it's 160 lumens so there you have it. That's our little project for this, at least this configuration. This will run you about $15 to put together. Or what you can do, again, if we had this one inch one and it was set up with a socket in there, just use your imagination a little bit. If you wanted to make a pendant light, what you can do is take that same shade, just unscrew it, this one inch PVC will fit in here perfectly. Again, using your imagination that there's a socket and a light bulb already in there. All right. And then what you can do is take some coat hanger. A lot of these shades have holes around there. You can take some coat hanger and insert it into the holes and bend it the right way. And that way you would have a nice little pendant light with the socket adapter that we came up with and you can hang that anywhere that you want to so it can fit in with your decor um, instead of having just a PVC end cap up in the, on the ceiling. All right, So that's another option. So there you have it. This is our LED lighting project. Again, a budget of five to fifteen dollars. We came under budget. If you have some of the pieces laying around that's even better. Um, but we can get you these for about three dollars a piece if you wanted to. Um, using just the end caps and the uh, 5 watt LED or 5 watt incandescent light bulb or if you wanted to go all out um, you can use the $6 LED light bulb and also the clamp type light fixture that you can find at any hardware store. We'll have all the products listed from Amazon um, that, that you'll need for this but please let us know if you have any questions if you have any input to this video or if you found other ways of making lighting systems we'd be interested to know. We're always trying to do this on a budget for our users. So thanks for watching.